Hello everybody, welcome to this week's video. It is Julia here and today we're going to be doing something slightly different than what we're used to. We're going to go through a walkthrough tutorial to connect Notion and Dropbox using the Notion API. Now, so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a, a Zapier as an intermediate link between Dropbox. Whenever we create a new file in Dropbox, we're going to have a Zap triggered. And then this arrow is finally available because this is what the Notion API allows us to do. From Zapier, we can finally create a new database item in Notion whenever we create a new file in Dropbox. So let's see how it works. Okay, here goes nothing with our first API experiment. I, to be fair, I did play around with the API a little bit and I found it a bit cumbersome, but the one thing that would be really useful for me as a researcher, PhD student to have is a way to sync Notion with the papers that I read, which I save in Dropbox so that I have them synchronized all across my devices. That would be a very useful thing for me to have here. So what I want to try to do today is to synchronize a Dropbox folder with my Notion database, this one that I just created, uh, so that I can have the link to the paper and to all the notes that I take on the paper here synchronized with my Dropbox. Perfect. Uh, so just a quick overview of the um, how this looks. And this is the name of the database. The name of the entry hopefully is going to be the name of the paper that is synchronized. The tags I'm just going to write manually here. For example, if a paper is relevant for an experiment or for a conference, I'm just going to add them manually here. And, not, and then I need to see which one works the best. So if I can synchronize the file and this is going to be a file copy which is not ideal because if I change the file in Notion and if I take additional notes in Dropbox, I'm going to lose them here. Or better, a URL that points to the Dropbox link so that I can have all the Dropbox updates always reflected in this one. Enough talking. So this is the database that we want to synchronize. Uh, let's go to the integrations and we're going to have to create a new integration here in the settings. This is going to bring us to some online thing. But yeah, now we just want to synchronize oh, with Dropbox using Zapier. So should be fairly straightforward, hopefully, because it's a bit cumbersome. Okay, the secrets. This is the token that we need to give to Zapier to be able to edit our database in Notion, which is all in all the main security concern that I have for the Notion API, as you can see from the link that will be hovering in my YouTube video right now. But yeah, all in all, you copied this token and we're going to give it to Zapier later on. It's an internal integration. I'm not going to share it with people. Save things. Yeah. So now I think we're good to go. The last thing that we need to do now is to make sure that this database is shared with the integration that we want to use. So this one, we are sharing it with the Dropbox sync. Okay. And now Zapier, once we give it the token, should be able to see this database. Hopefully. Let's go back to this and we go to Zapier and we create a new Zap. What we need to decide now is the trigger event. So what will trigger the action to happen? And in my case, it will be a Dropbox event whenever there is a new file in a folder. Yeah. Whenever I save a new paper, um, I'm going to create a corresponding entry in Notion which should be all cool. I need to sign into Dropbox. Sounds about good. Yes, we're in. And now I need to decide which folder I want to synchronize. Okay, let's synchronize all the electrical engineering papers, because why not? Include the file contents. Yeah, sure. That's what we're here for, you know? Okay. Okay, and now we can test the trigger from Dropbox to Zapier. Uh, let's see if it can detect a new file that was recently added to my Dropbox folder. I think I added one yesterday night, so it should find something useful. Yes, exactly. This is the file I was thinking about. Okay, a survey of neuromorphic computing. It's quite a big file, but you know, it's it's fine. Okay, let's see if it synchronizes with the Notion database. So now we define the action that we want to execute whenever that event is detected, whenever a new file is added in Dropbox. We want to go to Notion and create a new database item, exactly what I want to do. Okay, now we need to sign into Notion and this is where you copy paste the token that I had saved before. Okay, so that Zapier has the right to access your database. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now Zapier is only capable and only able to see the one database that we shared in the Notion workspace with the integration, so the paper library sync. 
And now we have access to all the fields. So now I want to create a Notion database entry that has the same name of the file that I'm trying to synchronize. So file name is going to be the name in my Notion database. The tags I'm going to leave empty because I don't think there's any option available exactly. And the URL, if I can link it to my Dropbox file, that direct media link, I, I think this should work. And this is going to be always up to date because whenever I add a new note on my Dropbox PDF, if what I'm storing in the Notion database is only the link, mm -hmm, I'm always going to have the latest and greatest notes up to date, which is very convenient. The content, I don't care. I just want to have a link. Let's see. So we are going to send this paper to my Notion database. And I say test and continue because I'm feeling optimistic. A database item was just sent to Notion now, so I should be able to... Oh, yes, I can see it here. Let me move myself around. Oh, this is a long URL. Open link. What happens if I open the link? Please open the neuromorphic computing survey, blah, blah. So we're gonna... Are we going Ah, we're downloading a copy. It's a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Oh, but the, but the highlights are there. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Okay, so perfect. This is kind of what I wanted. It's a bit unfortunate that instead of opening just the Dropbox file, I need to download a new copy to access it. But it's good that I have the highlights. I think that should be probably kept up to date. Okay, I, I think it kind of works. So let, let me turn on this app actually. Oh, I can share a copy. I might share it with you, actually, so that you can use it instead of setting up the whole thing, which might be annoying. It works somehow. Yeah, now we can, whenever we have a new file in Dropbox, and the good news is that that, that is going to still be offline. So we, we have some kind of integration between Notion and the file system. Finally, I know that probably wasn't the main concern of a lot of people, but it was to me. So now there you have it. Actually, quick update. I was playing around with the different fields that I could set up here in the synchronize setup action, whatever. If instead of using the direct link, which is this one, we show all options and we do share link, it works better. As you can see now, let's retest the action so I can show you. And in Notion, what you're going to find is that you have this link that is, first of all, way smaller than the direct link here. And if you click on that, you're not going to download the paper again. You're going to just go to Dropbox and visualize the content. And I tried offline to edit the PDF by adding these very interesting high letters in the PDF through my PDF editor. And going through the link from Notion, of course, without doing anything else, it's kept up to date because, I mean, it makes sense. I'm editing the file offline, which is synchronized because it's in the Dropbox synced folder. And I can see whatever I edit because I'm only saving the link and not a file copy and I don't have to download it again, which would have been a bit annoying because not right now I'm on Windows, but I generally speaking only synchronize and access the content offline on Linux because that's where I work for my projects most of the time. So I think this is, this can actually work for me. And I definitely think that I can fit within the 50 actions, 15, you know, zaps per month, because I don't add that many papers in a month. I, I can definitely see myself staying below that threshold. Um, yeah, so this is actually, we just found a way to synchronize offline content offline. I mean, Dropbox, if you synchronize a folder offline and you access it offline, then it's going to reflect all the way to Notion. So now we are linking Dropbox and Notion together. Now we have Notion synchronized with the file system, which to me was one of the main things that I was missing because I, I'm based on paper writing for my work and paper reading for my work. So this is very convenient. Um, I hope it's going to be useful for you as well. So, okay. I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. Uh, it's kind of what I was expecting. And actually I will be trying to share the content with you guys. Uh, you should find the link to have this app already made for you. Uh, you have it in the description box. If you like this content and if you want to keep up to date with other content and whatnot that I might produce in the future, you might also want to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you all next Sunday. Thanks a lot. Bye.